Hello guys, today I am going to tell you a story about the scarecrow. Rufus was excited. His village was holding a scarecrow competition. The idea was that each family would make a scarecrow and put it up in the front garden. The judges would walk through the village and choose a winner. Ruff's dad grew vegetables for a living, so he knew a lot about scarecrows. Rufus was sure he would win. He found two scarf of branches in the hedgerow and tied them into a cross shape with some string. Then he pushed the longest branch into the ground and fixed a big turnip on the top of to make a head. Rufus felt he had a great he had made a great start. Now all he had to do was to find some clothes for his scarecrow. That should be easy. Oopsie! It wasn't. Can I have your old hat for my scarecrow? Rufus asked his dad. Certainly not, said dad. I'm still wearing it. What about your old jacket? What? My nearly new jacket with a small tear up in the sleeve? Dad replied. You must be joking. It was the same when Rufus asked about trousers, a scarf and an old pair of bellies. I need those bellies, said dad firmly. Even though I don't wear them anymore, you never know when they might come in handy. Rufus was desperate. He even tried to find some old clothes of his own to use, but they were much too small. Granddad was no good idea either. He wanted to hang on to his old suits and shoes. Now you know where your dad get it, gets it from. Green Rufus' mother. Let me have a think. Hmm. When she spoke to him the next day, Rufus wanted to cry. That's not right at all, he said. Everyone will laugh. But he didn't have any choice. So, Rufus dressed his scarecrow in a pair of tights stuck with a straw, a pair of green shoes, an orange and pink shirt, a yellow and blue jumper also stuffed with straw, a red curly wig and a huge flowery hat that his mother had once worn to a wedding. His was the only female scarecrow and he thought it looked awful. But later that week, the judges came around. A queer winner loved one of them. I'm sure this lady's dreadful fashion season would frighten any car out. Well, really, said Rufus mother, but she said it very quietly indeed. That's all from me now. See you in my next video. Bye, guys.